I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Your saltwater tank is a closed system. That means nothing gets into it unless you put it in, and nothing gets out unless you take it out. On the budget build, when I'm talking about taking things out, I'm mainly talking about nutrients. And nutrients are removed from the tank in two ways. Filtration, and that's done with that black filter on the back, and with a water change. A water change involves taking water out of your saltwater tank and replacing it with fresh salt water. And you're going to want to do a water change to bring nutrient levels in line. As covered in the test and testing video for the budget build, the nutrients you're worried about are nitrates and phosphates. Pro tip, for the budget build, once your nitrate levels exceed 10 parts per million and your phosphate levels exceed one part per million, that's when you want to do a water change. Pro tip number two, if your salinity is too high or too low, below 1.020 or above 1.027, then a water change will be needed as well. Pro tip number three, the only other time I do a water change is in an emergency situation. If my ammonia or nitrite is above 0.25 parts per million, or a heater blows up in the tank, or a fish gets blended by a power head, then I'll do a water change. Here's what you need to do a water change. Fresh salt water. The two ways to get that salt water. You can get it from your local fish store, or you can mix your own. If you're going to mix your own salt water, you're gonna need these items. A five gallon bucket, small water pump, salt mix, refractometer or Hanna salinity checker, small heater, thermometer. Rather have all those things bundled into a kit? I got your back. I put the water change kit up on saltwateraquarium.com so you'll have everything you need in one place. You can find the water change kit via the link right here. Optional but really useful is a hose that fits on the pump that you're using to mix your salt. This way you can pump the water from the bucket into the tank without having to lift up that heavy bucket. This will help prevent spills and keep you and your spouse happy. The last thing you need to do a water change is fresh water. Now ideally you would use RODI water and at the very least use dechlorinated tap water. Using straight tap water can be dangerous to your fish, so if you're going to use tap water, make sure you don't forget the dechlorinator. Now that you've got everything you need to do a water change, how much of a water change do you need to do? The answer is one that's big enough to make a dent in the nutrient level you're trying to adjust. And a 20 to 25% water change is a good place to start. On the budget bill tank, that means you need to do a five gallon water change. Okay, how do you do a water change? First, a big part of doing a water change is mixing up salt water and you'll want to do that several hours in advance. Make sure you leave yourself time to mix up the salt before you start your water change. Second, add the fresh water to your bucket. Third, add one half cup of salt for every one gallon of fresh water. Always add the water first, then the salt. Fourth, place a small power head in the bucket and plug it in. Then set the small heater to 78 degrees and place it in the bucket. Next, walk away from the bucket. Let the salt mix up for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, check the salinity of the water in the bucket and add more salt if needed to reach 1.025. Note that if the salinity in your tank is too high, above 1.027 specific gravity, then mix up the fresh salt water to a lower salinity, 1.015. If the salinity in your tank is too low, below 1.020, then mix up the fresh salt water to a higher salinity, 1.030. Here's a pro tip for you. Once you've got the salinity where you want it, check the temperature of your tank in the freshly mixed salt water you want them to be within five degrees of each other. Once your salinity and temperature check out, unplug the filter and heater on your tank. Next, remove the same amount of water you're about to put in the tank. In our case, we're gonna do a five gallon water change, so we wanna pull out five gallons of salt water since we're putting back in five gallons of salt water. For the budget build, that's about this much. Pro tip. Water is easiest to remove through a hose and a siphon, and if you don't want to suck on the end of the tube to start a siphon, use the pump you use to mix up the salt to pump water out of your tank. Once you've removed about five gallons, put the five gallons of freshly mixed salt water in your tank. Here's where having the pump in the tube is really helpful. Pumping in the water slowly helps prevent stirring up the sand bed, or worse, knocking over your aquascaping. You can directly pour the water from the bucket, and if you go that route, do it slowly. Once you've replaced the same amount of water that you removed, plug back in the filter and the heater. 
Now your water change is done and you can kick back and enjoy your fish. Remember on the budget build, no need to do a water change until your nitrates are above 10 parts per million and your phosphates are above one part per million. Test your tank's water, let the tank tell you when it needs a water change. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.